on the bridge. Incoming message from Admiral Liu. On screen. Captain, I'm glad to see you're settling into the center chair. I'm Admiral Liu, Chief of Starfleet Operations in the Maelstrom. Starfleet has a delicate assignment for you. The impact of the Vesuvi event is still being assessed. The Dragos colony was completely destroyed when the solar wave you reported consumed Vesuvi 2. Both the Geki mining operation and the Haven colony at the edge of the system have suffered severe damage. Proceed to Starbase 12 to take on emergency medical supplies, personnel, engineers, and equipment for the relief of the Geki and Haven colonies. Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise will join you aboard Dauntless for this mission. The captain recently was a guest lecturer at the Academy and has accompanied your new first officer from Earth. When your mission is completed, deliver Captain Picard to Biranu Station, where he will be speaking at a symposium. Time is of the essence, Captain. Unnecessary delays will cost lives. Liu out. Yes, the ruins on Tega 6 are spectacular. I'll be sure to mention your good taste in my formal report. Thank you, Captain. Captain Jean-Luc Picard, a pleasure to meet you. I understand you served as this vessel's first officer. I knew Captain Wright. We went to the Academy together. You have my sincere condolences on his loss. However, if he saw fit to select you as his number one, I'm sure you'll do extremely well commanding the Dauntless. I would like to introduce you to your new first officer, Commander Safi Larson. Captain, I'm looking forward to working with you. Commander Larson, if you will take your station. Commander Larson will keep track of your mission objectives and current orders, Captain. Your first officer can be the greatest resource at your disposal. As a former first, you've already had that experience yourself. Commander Larson, bring us to Condition Green and ready the ship for departure. Aye, sir. Condition Green. All hands rig for departure. Chief, please bring the main deflector, warp drive, and impulse engines online. And make sure our warp intermix ratio is at optimum efficiency. Aye, Captain. Main deflector and main drive systems register as ready. Mr. Diaz, bring main sensors online. Check that all worker bees in the area are clear. Yes, sir. Main sensors online. Registering all worker bees out of dry dock area, Captain. Mr. Savali, please bring the structural integrity fields online and make sure our tactical systems are primed and ready. Shields and defensive systems registering is fully operational, sir. We have a full torpedo complement and these structural integrity fields are engaged for transit. Ensign Lomar, clear all moorings and take us out easy. One quarter impulse. Please signal the quartermaster. We're heading out. Signaling dry dock. All moorings cleared. One quarter impulse. Aye. A Federation vessel is only as good as its crew. This point cannot be overstated. It is this interaction with a well-trained crew that allows a starship to operate with a singular purpose. Captain, the bridge is yours. If you would like, take a moment to inspect each of the stations. If you would like any advice, feel free to consult with me. Captain, it is always a good idea to check with your first officer to confirm your current orders. Congratulations, sir. Captain Wright would be very proud of you. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Aye, aye. We have arrived at Starbase 12, Captain. Captain, shall I bring us in closer to the Starbase, sir? Yes, We will sir. not be able to initiate a dock until we are closer to the Starbase. Ensign Lomar can bring us in closer by flying to the Starbase nav point. Incoming message from Starbase 12, sir. Good day, Dauntless. I'm Commander Graf, commander here at Starbase 12. It's good to see your ship back in one piece. We've assembled the supplies for your mission, Captain. We will transfer them over to your cargo base once you've docked. Shall I initiate docking procedures, Captain? Captain? Docking sequence initiated. Starbase 12 is the main staging area for Federation operations in the Maelstrom. Any damage repairs or resupply needs you have will be attended to here. Welcome to your home away from home, Captain. 
We are secure to take on ship supplies, sir. Transferring supplies. Cargo base three and four report supplies have been received and stowed for transport. Transporter room two reports that the medical and engineering teams have beamed aboard, sir. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. We have arrived at the edge of the Vesuvi system, sir. We are being hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. This is Director Tobin Solmes. It's good to see you, Dauntless. We have quite a situation on our hands. The Vesuvi event has sent stellar debris into our region. Some larger pieces have settled near our orbital facility. This debris will make it impossible for the incoming supply convoy to transfer their cargo. Before you beam down the relief supplies to the surface, please clear the area around the orbital facility. Contact me when you are done. Thank you. Soames out. Not the most challenging assignment, but it'll be a good weapons test. Perhaps now will be a good time to look over the tactical systems. Yes, Captain. Red alert, shields up. Yes, Captain. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Moving into attack range. Your order, sir. Your order, sir. Your orders, Captain. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Yes, sir. Your order, sir. Order, sir. That's the last of the debris. Shall I raise the colony, sir? Yes, Captain. Hailing frequencies open. Thank you for clearing the station, but it looks like we have bigger problems now. The sensors on our orbital facility have just picked up a number of planetary fragments on a collision course with our planet. We are already in a weakened state after the Vesuvi event, and it's doubtful we could take many hits. Director Soames, get your people into whatever shelters you have available. We'll do what we can from up here. Thank you, Dauntless. Soames out. I recommend an initial scan of the area so we can get a better idea of what we're up against. Yes, Captain. Initiating scan. Picking up the fragments on our sensor, sir. Captain? Looks like we have a total of five large planetary fragments in two groups. It looks like they're all headed toward Haven. Engaging to destroy, Captain. quickly enough, there's a pretty good chance we can take them all out. Stellar cartography yes, should be able to present a Intercept good idea course, of the fragment's plotted. relative distance to the colony. Your orders, sir? Perhaps Lieutenant Savali should be given the order to destroy the target. Sir, the fragments are closing on the planet. Yes, Captain. We might still Engaging have time to Engaging to pass. destroy, Captain. Captain? Up 
setting up rear torpedo tubes. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Moving into attack range. Your order, sir. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Diverting some power to the impulse Captain. engines. It will increase the ship's speed and decrease the time it takes to get from one yes, set Captain. of fragments to another. Intercept course plotted. Captain? Yes, Captain. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Moving into attack range. Yes, sir. Moving into attack range. Captain, intercept course plotted. Yes, Captain, sir. Captain, several of the planetary Engaging fragments to destroy, have closed Captain. to within 300 orders, kilometers Captain? of the planet. Yes, sir. Moving into attack range. Yes, Captain? Captain, sir, it looks like one of the fragments All is heading toward the orbital facility. All incoming fragments have been reduced to non-lethal sizes. Your orders, Captain? We are being Captain? hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. The people of Haven owe you and your crew a debt of gratitude, Captain. We owe our lives to your courage and quick thinking. Captain? Again, we thank you. Standard if you will orbit. put your ship into Aye, orbit, sir. we can transfer the relief supplies. Your orders, sir? Entering standard orbit. Incoming transmission. I am sending coordinates for your people to beam down. My subdirectors will advise them when they arrive. Coordinates received, Captain. Our teams will begin beaming down supplies and personnel immediately. Admiral Liu told us what happened to the Dragos colony. We've been unable to contact Mr. Takahara on the Geki mining colony. I can only hope their outpost survived the effects of the disturbance. Sir, all supplies and equipment have been beamed down. Again, thank you, Dauntless. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't arrived when you did. Transport complete. We can get underway, Captain. 
Incoming message from Starfleet, sir. Captain, one of our ships, the Sovereign, is on its way to our space dock facilities for refitting. She's manned by a skeleton crew and is being escorted by two Klingon birds of prey. Her captain, Jonathan Soto, has reported a breakdown in her warp drive, and she's had to lay over in the Tevron system. The Klingons are under orders to divert to Birnu Station and will not be able to stay with her. However, they will be able to transport Captain Picard there with them. Rendezvous with the Sovereign in the Tevron system and join the escort. Once the Sovereign is underway again, you are to continue your mission and deliver the relief supplies to the Geki colony. Liu out. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Leaving orbit. Approaching the Tevron system, sir. Your Any orders, sign of sir. the Sovereign and her escorts, Mr. Diaz? I have three ships holding an orbit yes, around sir? Tevron 2, Commander. Your orders, Captain. Intercept course, plotted. That's the Sovereign, Captain. And two birds of prey. Shall I hail the Sovereign, sir? Your orders, Captain. Channel open. Captain Soto, sir. On screen. Congratulations on your promotion to command, Captain. I'm glad to see you here. Repairs are progressing, but we only have a skeleton crew on board, so it's taking some time. We've had to take the impulse engines offline, so we're immobile until the repairs are complete. This would have been only a ferrying assignment. He's undoubtedly short-handed. Incoming message, sir. Captain Draxon of the Rancouf, sir. On screen. Hail, Captain. Your timely arrival frees my ship and the Traor to depart for Biranu Station. However, there is something you must know before we leave. My tactical officer reported suspicious readings on his scanners on our way here. Suspicious in what way, sir? Two very faint readings, fading in and out. He thinks we may have been followed by at least two vessels, cloaked. Your scanners could be out of sync. Not on my ship, Lieutenant. No! I speak truth. I would stay, but our duty demands we reach Biranu Station on our timetable. Be on guard, Captain. Excuse me, sir, but we have company. Two warbirds uncloaking to starboard. Hailing us, sir. On screen. Greetings, Captain. I am Torren, commanding the warbird Soryak. With respect, Captain, do you have some business with us? The Romulan Star Empire is well aware of the incident in the Vesuvi system. That was troubling. Now we have further cause for concern. The Enterprise has been patrolling the Maelstrom for quite some time. Now Starfleet has introduced this second Sovereign-class ship to the Maelstrom. A somewhat disputed area. We must question the reasons for its presence and its relationship to the Vesuvi event. I can assure you neither Starfleet nor the Federation knows any more than you do about the cause of the Vesuvi incident. Two Sovereign-class vessels raise vast suspicions, Commander. Suspicions we are prepared to act on. Now. Sir, the Klingons have raised their shields and are powering up weapons. Let us see if these Romulans are truly prepared to act on these veiled threats. Who is threatening whom, Klingon? I do not threaten. I challenge. The Klingons have opened fire, Captain. Very well. Firing on the Sovereign. We shall the Sovereign has taken some hits. Incoming transmission. Your orders, Captain. We're losing shield. Yes, sir. Down 25%. I'm shifting to the shield. Aye, sir. I don't think they'll hold it. The Dauntless is yours, Captain. Your orders, Captain? Captain? Initiating skill Your orders, sir? Captain? Warbirds uncloaking. They're firing. Captain Jackson, on screen. Not reading anything new, sir. Dauntless. We are attacking the Khadimah. Join us. 
out. Report, Lieutenant. Looks like the Klingons are doing a good job at distracting the warbird. While the Romulans are busy with the birds of prey, we can take a moment to plan our attack. Your phaser fire will be more effective if you target specific subsystems on the warbirds. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Your order, sir? Yes, sir. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Their body Order is sir. Strong, sir. Yes, sir. Warbirds are thick hulks, sir. It'd be better to try and take out some of their subsystems first. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Your orders, Captain? Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Target hull integrity at 75%. Moving into attack range. Damaging the cloaking device will put the Romulans at a disadvantage. Status on the Romulans, Lieutenant. Looks like we've bloodied their noses a bit. They're turning about and cloaking. Captain, initiating scan. Where are they? Come on, uncloak again. Yes, sir. You don't get your wish, Ensign. Looks like they've gone. Nothing new, sir. That's a friendly Clean target, sir. Prey, Holding position. Captain Draxon, sir. On screen. It's past time for us to go on to Biranu Station, Captain. Although, this has been an yes, interesting Captain. skirmish. Cancel red I am alert. also due at Viranu Station, Captain Draxon. With your permission, I will transfer to your ship for the final leg of the journey. We will be honored by your presence, Captain. Make your preparations and transport to us when you are ready. Draxon, out. I'll take my leave of you now, Captain. Good luck. Transporter room reports Captain Picard is ready to beam over to the Rancouf, sir. Transporting now. Captain Picard has transferred to the Klingon ship. Long-range scanners indicate another ship entering this yes, system. Sir. It's the Zukov. Incoming message from the Zukov, sir. Captain Verada in command. Friendly target selected. Holding fire. Dauntless. We have been assigned to complete the escort of the Sovereign to space dock. We will stand by until she is ready. You may proceed to the Vesuvi system to supply the surviving colonies there. Verata, out. Transmission from Sovereign, sir. On screen. We've been able to make sufficient repairs to allow us to warp, Captain. We're heading on to Starbase 12 with the Zukov. Thanks for your help. Soto out. The Klingons are leaving, sir. I suggest we do the same. We have to complete our run to the Vesuvi system, sir. Starfleet regulations require Captain. us to drop out of warp at the edge of the of Vesuvi laid system in. before proceeding to the inner planets. Aye, Captain. First Officer's personal log, stardate 55297.3. I had a close look at the Sovereign yesterday. 
It was beautiful, an absolutely colossal ship. It was my hope that a chance to serve on such a vessel would come with my new posting. But Starfleet has its reasons for assigning me as first officer on the Dauntless. With Captain Wright's experience and knowledge, I could have learned a great deal. Starfleet will surely feel the loss of such a capable officer. My new captain is just that. New. We'll probably be learning some lessons together. The captain spent a lot of time as a first officer, but has only been on the Dauntless for the last four months. From what I've read in the service records, I'm sure the captain will be a fine example for me. The bridge feels a little more social than I'm used to. It's understandable that the crew should feel comfortable with their former first officer in command. But respect and discipline should always be maintained on the bridge of a starship. And I intend to make sure they are. <laughs>